getting some visuals that are coming in. Remember that Kamal Nath and his son are slated to arrive in Delhi. And as Himanshu has been telling us, uh, there will be some important meetings as well expected with BJP leaders over the next couple of days, which might formalize uh, the possibility of Kamal Nath and his son joining the Bharatiya Janata Party. Speculation has been rife and it has been fueled by Nakul Nath recently dropping Congress from his social media bio as well, indicating that it's only a matter of time now before Kamal Nath and Nakul Nath in fact join the Bharatiya Janata Party. Kamal Nath, as you know, will be in Delhi for that very crucial meeting. It's expected that they will be headed uh, to their uh, local residence in Delhi. And then, of course, there could be meetings uh, with BJP leaders uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, I'll go back across uh, to my colleague Himanshu while we stay with those pictures. Kamal Nath has landed in Delhi amid speculations of him joining the Bharatiya Janata Party. Himanshu, uh, apologies for cutting you short. You were telling us what can happen with BJP. We are seeing pictures that Kamal Nath has reached Delhi. There are also a lot of meetings in the next two days. देखिए बिल्कुल बहुत अहम मीटिंग होगी अगर कमलनाथ जो हैं वो बीजेपी में शामिल होते हैं उससे पहले जो बीजेपी का सेंट्रल लीडरशिप है जिसमें ज्वाइनिंग से पहले ये माना जाता है कि ग्रह मंत्री अमित शाह और जेपी नड्डा से मुलाकात होती है फॉर्मुलाइज किया जाता है कैसे उनकी एडजस्टमेंट की जाएगी और जो उनके साथ नेता आने वाले हैं चाहे वो विधायक हैं उनको कैसे एडजस्ट किया जाएगा ये सारी चीजें तय होने के बाद ही जो है फॉर्मल अनाउंसमेंट होता है और ज्वाइनिंग होती है पॉलिमी क्योंकि आप भी बहुत लंबे समय से बीजेपी देख रही हैं और आपको भी मालूम है सब चीजें एडजस्ट होने के बाद एक माना जा सकता है कि अगले तीन से चार दिनों के अंदर जो है इस पर फैसला हो जाएगा लेकिन इतना जरूर है कि कमलनाथ नाराज भी है और बीजेपी को भी इस बात का आभास है और इसीलिए उन्होंने जो है अपना कमलनाथ के लिए जो है वो दरवाजा खोल के रखा है कि वो जब चाहे भारतीय जनता पार्टी में शामिल हो सकते हैं लेकिन एक बड़ी चीज यह है कि जिन कमलनाथ से नाराज होकर ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया कांग्रेस छोड़कर अपने विधायकों के साथ बीजेपी में आए थे अब वो कैसा महसूस करेंगे जब कमलनाथ ही बीजेपी में आ जाएंगे कांग्रेस से नाराज होके तो वो एक बड़ी टर्निंग पॉइंट होगा जब दोनों लोग नजरें मिलाएंगे क्योंकि ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया की जो नाराजगी है वो कमलनाथ से थी और उनके फैसलों से थी उनके व्यवहार से थी तो ऐसे में कहीं ना कहीं ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया के लिए भी एक तरीके से ये बड़ा मूवमेंट होगा कि कमलनाथ जब बीजेपी में शामिल होंगे और दोनों ही नेता जो नाराजगी के कारण ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया छोड़ के आए थे कांग्रेस जिनके कारण छोड़ के आए थे वो भी अब कांग्रेस छोड़ बीजेपी में आ रहे हैं जी हिमांशु हमारे साथ बने रहिए माय कॉलीग हिमंदर इज ऑल्सो जॉइनिंग अस ही इज ऑफ कोर्स ब्रिंगिंग अस अपडेट्स फ्रॉम भोपाल एज द वेल व्हाट इज द कांग्रेस सेइंग अबाउट दिस हिमंदर एट द मोमेंट ऑफ कोर्स दे आर अ लिटिल स्टंड बाय दिस बिकॉज़ ऑफ द क्लोज एसोसिएशन ऑफ कमलनाथ विद द गांधी परिवार हैविंग स्टडीड विद संजय गांधी एज वेल एज हिमांशु वाज सेइंग इंदिरा गांधी उन्हें अपना तीसरा बेटा मानती थी in such a situation kamalnath of course jumping ship now being speculated uh, quite heavily that he will be jumping ship to the bharatiya janata party what is the congress thinking about this well, for the record digvijay singh has said that uh, this is never going to happen the way uh, uh, kamalnath has been associated with the nehru gandhi family he was called the third son of indira gandhi he started his politics uh, around the emergency and he stood behind uh, mrs indira gandhi that's the official reaction of digvijay singh who was very closely associated with uh, kamal nath in the 2023 elections but we have to go a little uh, prior to that little before that uh, when elections were held in madhya pradesh in 2023 kamal nath and digvijay singh were the ones who were calling the shots and after the elections uh, because congress lost and in all pre poll surveys it was uh, they said they said that it was uh, uh, the congress party is likely to win those elections but that never happened and after the elections congress spokesman alok sharma went on record saying that kamal nath was having some kind of an understanding some tacit understanding with the bjp and it was the way he conducted the elections the way he fought the elections uh, he was in chandwara in, in the last uh, week or so when the elections were held he used to be at his home the mm. uh, elections were not properly the money was not properly distributed uh, choice of candidate was such he never listened to anyone the india rally was also not allowed to happen in bhopal so all these allegations were made with directly against kamala that he had an understanding with the bjp 
Kamalath took strong objection to that and thereafter a notice was served to Alok Sharma but after that nothing happened. And at that point in time, and this answers the question that what the Congress party feels, it is from that, around that point in time that it was being speculated that Kamal Nath most likely along with his son is going to jump ship and go to cross over to the Bharatiya Janata Party. He already had an understanding with the BJP before the elections as most congressmen were alleging and now he's going to go towards the BJP because the, there's little space left for him in the Congress party. The Congress party, the way he was ousted from the post of the president of the state Congress, he never wanted to quit that post. He wanted to uh, be the president of the Congress party, at least till the Lok Sabha elections were held. But when he was in Dubai, the Congress party chose to announce his replacement. Jitu Patwari was made the president mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Jitu Patwari took charge in the absence of Kamal Nath. Kamal Nath was not in, the previous Congress president was not at the Congress headquarters when Jitu Patwari took charge as the Congress president. That was point number one. And thereafter, this Rajya Sabha elections happened. I mean, nominations for the Rajya Sabha happened. Kamal Nath was dinner for him, <coughs> Congress and that in Bhopal. And at that point in time also, it was speculated that he's angling for some position of prominence for himself within the Congress party, looking at his stature, the way he has conducted his politics. He can't merely be a Congress MLA sitting under the leadership of Umang Singar, who's the leader of opposition in the Vidhan Sabha. He has to have some prominent position. And then this opportunity was uh, thought of as the right opportunity to give him that prominent position, uh, that of a Rajya Sabha member. But that didn't happen. The Congress party instead chose to send Ashok Singh Yadav, chose caste politics. And thereafter, the speculation started again that uh, Kamal Nath, along with his son, they are going to join the Bharatiya Janata Party. And Sources close to both Kamal Nath and Nakul Nath are now pointing that it's just a question of matter of time when this will happen, whether it's going to happen in the next couple of days, next two, three, four days, or whether it's going to happen when Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Joro Nyayatra comes to Madhya Pradesh. But the fact that uh, Kamal Nath has been edged out of prominence in Madhya Pradesh is reason enough for most political observers in Bhopal and Madhya Pradesh to observe and say that Kamal Nath is on his way out from the Congress party and is in fact heading towards the Bharatiya Janata Party.